The nation is still reeling tonight in the wake of yesterday's mass shooting targeting the most innocent of victims. 19 elementary school students and two of their teachers are dead after a gunman barricaded himself inside of a fourth grade classroom in Uvalde, Texas and opened fire. As law enforcement continues to investigate this horrible act of violence, the national conversation has once again turned to gun control. Wednesday night in the big story on Action News is the latest on the school shooting in Texas, the second deadliest elementary school shooting in American history. 19 children and two teachers were gunned down yesterday at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde. An 18 year old armed with an AR-15 style rifle stormed inside a classroom, barricaded himself inside and opened fire. Authorities revealed today that the gunman, Salvador Ramos, had just turned 18 on May 16th. And days later, he legally purchased two rifles. Authorities say the rampage began when he shot his grandmother in the forehead after arguing over a phone bill. She survived. He then stole her truck, crashed it outside the school, and emerged wearing a tactical vest and holding ammunition. He shot a Uvalde police officer before storming into the school. He was shot and killed about 40 minutes later by a Border Patrol officer. In the days leading up to the attack, authorities say the suspects sent pictures and videos of guns to users on various social media platforms. And then right before the attack, he logged onto Facebook. Posted by the government on Facebook approximately 30 minutes before reaching the school. He said, I'm going to shoot my grandmother. The second post was, I shot my grandmother. After that, Governor Abbott says he posted that he was going to shoot up an elementary school. Facebook says all of the messages were private, one-on-one -on -one messages that were discovered after the shooting. Well, tonight, investigators still have no motive for the attack, which also left at least 17 people wounded. Well, Texas Governor Greg Abbott's news conference today was interrupted by Abbott's campaign challenger, Democrat Beto O'Rourke, who demanded that Abbott do more to prevent mass shootings in the state. He was yelled at by Uvalde's mayor and then escorted out by security. Sir, you're out of line. Sir, you're out of line. Sir, you're out of line. Please leave this auditorium. Abbott remained silent during the confrontation. Well, these are the faces of some of the victims. Fourth grade teacher Eva Morales, 10-year-old Amory Joe Garza, 10-year-old Jose Flores, and Xavier Lopez smiled here after making honor roll that morning. Irma Garcia was a co-teacher in the same classroom as Morales and was getting ready to celebrate her 25th wedding anniversary with her husband. Grief counselors are on hand as the community copes with the devastating loss.